Sure. Hey, everybody, look here. I've got a special guest today on the 1st of March. The, to me, a very distinct guitarist, Martin Barr, formerly of Jethro Tull, currently of the Martin Barr Band. Martin, thank you so much for taking some time to spend with us. You're very welcome, Derek. Yeah, I've just, we got to uh, the States about three days ago and uh, my uh, my wife's family live in Mississippi. So uh, we're spending time with my uh, son, daughter-in-law and uh, their beautiful three-year-old daughter. Oh, I'm sure that's a lot of fun for you. Quite enjoyable, she, eh? She's gorgeous. Yes. Uh, she's at play school today. Awesome. Martin, are you still living in England or, you, or do you live here in the States? Well, I, I, my home's in England, but uh, I, I spend, I mean, I, if, if, if I worked it out, I wouldn't be surprised if, if I spent a quarter, a fifth of my time in America. Wow. Uh, I, I've never even figured it out, but uh, I'm here a lot in, in the States and, and have been for 50 years. Wow, wow. Yeah. I'd like to take it back just real quick and let you know that I, I haven't seen you in a long time, but I got to see you twice. First time on the Passion Play Tour, yeah, which was mind-blowing, and the last time I saw you was in 1979, which is quite a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. But um, you continue um, with your current band, um, Martin Barr Band, um, and the last... I was just looking to uh, Roads Less Traveled. Is that the most recent studio album that you have out? Yeah, it, it, it's the most recent solo album. Okay. But uh, there have been uh, DVDs and sort of compilation things uh, after that. But really, that that's all toll material, mm -hmm. nearly all toll material. So, uh, yeah, the, the last solo project was quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's the band? Is the band still together? What, my band? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find out in six days okay. when they're supposed to land in Miami. Okay. okay. If they're not so, there, they're in big trouble. Okay, so you're going to be doing some playing this year then, eh? Well, yes, a tour. We start, um, we're doing a cruise to the edge, 7th oh. of March. Uh, this is, it's like a holiday, really. Yeah. Um, and we fly to Seattle. And, and we do a bit of a fragmented tour, which get, goes on till April the twelfth. That sounds like a sounds like fun. You'll be there with a lot of other bands and people that you know. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. The cruise, I, I, I quite like it. You know, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, it's not my work, uh, mm -hmm. but, but there's people you know, and the fans are nice. I, I like the interaction. You know, that I, I but when I first did one. Um, you know, maybe eight, ten years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I, I really dreaded it because I, I thought you'd just, I'd be hiding in my cabin. <laughs> uh, you know, t t people sort of wanting to chew your ear. Right. Uh, yeah, people are respectful, you know, that they've, they've hi, hi, Martin, saw your gig, really liked it, or hi, lo love your music, off. And, That's and nice. I, think, I think they respect that it's a mixture. Yeah. Um, and, and they they give you space, so uh, it, it's it's nice if you want to talk to somebody, you can. If you don't, you know, if you want to read a book, you can do that. Uh, so it, it's great that it's it's a I really enjoy them there. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Do you mind if I take you back and ask a few questions about oh. um, your history? Yep, go ahead. Yeah. So is is this the first Tall album that you played on? No. Okay. That. that if you look at that picture, the guy in the middle back row is um, not, not one of the dogs, is um, Mick Abrahams. That's what I thought, Mick Abrahams, yeah. Yes, so that that was recorded in 68, and I joined in uh, December 68, but that they'd recorded that album, and it was big in England. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. It was uh, that, that they were a, a, what you call an emerging band in, in the UK, Mm -hmm. uh, so I knew of them, uh, and particularly because I played flute in that Roland Kirk style and sort of blues guitar. Right. So Mickey Rams was my, if you like, hero, you know. Um, and 
I sort of played what Ian played, so <laughs> but he wasn't so much a hero. Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh yeah, I can do. You know, I can do that." <laughs> uh, but Mick was is, was a great great guitar player, and um, when people went to see Jethro Tull in '68, that they went to see him. Gotcha. Now he had Blood One Pig. Were you ever involved in that? Oh well, well they toured with us. Yeah, mm -hmm. they toured with Tull. Um, but you know, Mick Mick and I get on really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's very poorly. You know, a lot of these guys have had heart attacks or mm -hmm. you know illnesses that are very debilitating, um, and and I, I I know he can't play. I think he had a stroke. Wow, wow. there's wow. a lot of people like that. Um, you know, I hear Clapton can only play slide guitar. Wow, um, I didn't know that. I don't know if that's true. I don't want to say it, but I've heard the yeah, room. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, it's because of arthritis, mm -hmm. it's horrible. But anyway, yeah. but Mick and I um, get on great, and you know, there's no bad feeling that I I got his gig, and and he he liked my playing, and mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's nice, a nice relationship. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. You know, you to, now to me, Jeff Tull are one of the greatest rock bands in rock history. Mm. Just not just my opinion, but many people. Um, mm. um, how do you feel about your your legacy? Yeah, if that's a fair I, question. Yeah, I totally disagree with you. <laughs> okay. Is that what you want me to say? How put it any more honestly? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I had my heroes, and, and I started out um, in '66 uh, in an era where soul music, R and B, Tamla, you know, that the, the, they were everything. Nobody yes. wanted anything but that. Yes. So guitar players w weren't really necessary. A lot of bands just had a, a horn section, right? Uh, Hammond player. Right, uh, bass, drums, uh, and guitarists were, were, were pretty thin on the ground. They yes. didn't have a great role to play, unfortunately. So I played saxophone to, to, to get work. Oh, wow. And I played saxophone because I played flute. I already played flute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I picked up the sax, and um, but, which is, I, I never liked it. I hated the instrument, maybe because I couldn't master it. Uh, it didn't suit me. But um, I worked with some greats, uh, Alvin Robertson, the Coasters, the Drifters. Yeah. We, we, we were a backing band for these, uh, Lee Dorsey. Yeah. So brought up in that era. Wow. Benny King. Um, you played with those people? Yes. Yeah. Wow. I, we were the backing band for some of them. And then then I went to see them play as well. Wow. And, and, um, yeah, th th they were just... Uh, I'm trying try, to uh, heard it through uh, Marvin Gaye. I mean, the, the, these are my greats. Yes, from my from the, the a time when I was learning how to play and and sort of formulating what I was going to do in music. Absolutely. But, so the, the, these were the greats, and and then Freddie King mm -hmm. came mm -hmm. into the picture, and um, Albert King. Uh, T Bone Walker, by chance? Who? T Bone Walker. Yeah, yeah, but like the, all all these blues. Yeah. Like that my, my dad played in his band. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Well, well, it, soul music went on for a couple of years, mm -hmm. uh, and Tamla, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But, but I, I started getting tired of sax, and I wanted to play my guitar a lot more. Okay. Uh, but then in the UK, they had a thing called the Blues Train. Mm -hmm. It's a TV program, and literally this train, railroad, railway train, mm -hmm. went round England. Mm -hmm. and it would stop at a station. All the people would get out and play on the platform. And it was um, Sonny Brown, Terry McGee, uh, Albert King, uh, uh, Albert Collins. Um, I don't know. I can't remember who it was. Maybe Stephen Walker, but, but they... they the people loved it. Yeah, it was a big, big thing in England. Wow. So the whole tide of music changed mm -hmm. to the blues. 
people gotcha. want to play blues. Yes, and yes. For me, it was great because I could start playing guitar again. And mm. I also knew of Roland Kirk. Um, so, so I, uh, you know, but, but that lent itself to the blues in in my world. Yes. So, so it, it was it was sort of where I sort of literally started my serious roots, and um, and and really, it's, it's never stopped. However, that that the, those my, my heroes uh, are all from that era, and um, Zappa, Beefheart, Zeppelin. Um, oh. You know, Paul Butterfield. Uh, oh, the, yeah. the, the huge list of people. Uh, yes, that are the greats. Yes, I, I don't put myself in the same league as any of them. What, well, what I, anybody would say. Well, I respect. I respect. I respect that. When I when I hear you um, in the pantheon of music, your guitar tone and your feel. To me, stand yeah. out. Um, I can, I can identify Martin Barr playing. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I understand. Maybe you don't give yourself as much credit. I, I think you're. Okay. Uh, I think you're one of the greats. I really do. Uh, well, I'm, 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 I appreciate you saying it. Yeah, I, I don't because I, um, no, I, I always hear what's wrong. So, I, I, in you know, you go back to '68, and I couldn't play the blues. Mm -hmm. Every kid on the block. Was was trying to emulate BB King, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. and, and 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 they're like, I'm going, no, no, oh no, mm -hmm. uh, oh no, <laughs> <You know? laughs> they, they 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 were missing it by a, a mile, a mile, yeah, yeah, and I didn't want to be one of those kids sort right. of listening to these licks and trying to get them, but nobody got it, mm -hmm. uh, so I I, I never went down that route i mean i i guess i'm a blues guitarist but, mm -hmm. but not in the true sense um and i'm still not you know I, if some if i play a 12 bar blues it, it were in my mind it won't be good it, it won't be a real blues and i love the blues yes you know i think uh, i understand what i think i understand what you're saying but you have tremendous feel martin when you uh, play you have great great feeling you, you know, there's so few players. Uh, um, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say it, but but white players, am I, I'm allowed to say that. Uh, <laughs> you say whatever you feel, brother. Say it, man. Know, I, I don't know anymore. You know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a stupid world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is. Uh, you know, you, you can't you can't categorize in any way at all. I can even say, you know, talk about female musicians. You know, I doubt if I can say that word. However, what yeah. I'm trying to say that yes. the only guy that I I heard that I thought he's got he can play the blues is, is Stevie Ray. Yes, yes, there's no doubt about that. He yeah. he he got he had the authentic feel. It's like you could feel it coming. Really, from he really had it. Uh, Gary Moore was was um, pretty well on that level. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, Joe Bonamassa is a great player. I, I, I know there's a lot of great blues guitar players, mm -hmm. but they have a lot of years to figure it out. But, mm -hmm. but it, um, in in my time, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a sort of uh, of the era of Hendrix and Jimmy Page and Jeff Beck, um, Joe Walsh. You know, a huge list of guitar players. Yeah. Yeah. But none of them were blues players. Yes, yes. I understand what you're saying, Martin. But that brings up the fact that, you know, you came up in the innocent... To me, it was the developing time of rock and roll. Now everything has been done before. But in many mm -hmm. ways, you were at when things were still fresh and new. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, well I just love melody. I, mm -hmm. I love chords. Um, which I, 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 love, I love what music can can do you know mm -hmm. uh, talking to you you already know that but 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 I, I just love that mystery and the power that music has it, it, it doesn't have to be complex I can't yeah. play jazz uh, but I can play melody and, and I love chords I love secret and, and I figure it out myself you know right. I don't go online and, and get a master class lessons from some whiz kid guitar player i don't want it i'd rather figure it out myself mm -hmm. and then it's my, i own it mm -hmm. if i figure out the path 
through music, it's my path. Yes. Not, not, not somebody on YouTube or from a book, but but I, um, I'm hungry for knowledge. Uh, even now, hungry Django Reinhardt, uh, uh, Gypsy Jazz. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, yes. Bluegrass. Yes. The, the, some phenomenal music that I, that I, I kind of touch and, and but would love it. And I guess... The one exception would be that, that if I met the right person, mm -hmm. I, I would love to delve into jazz and, and how it works, because uh, in my world, you fake it. I but, understand. I'd like to play it and not fake it. I understand. Uh, I understand. I, I come from a jazz family, so I, oh, did, nice. yeah, like I did learn how to play. I Yeah, it's... Um, but, oh, but I enjoy that. I really do. So, so Martin, you're um, uh, how do I put this? It's like, thank you for spending the time, and I think it probably is in your your favor that you are still a student of the art of the guitar. You play every, you still probably still play every day. Oh my god, yeah, I, I play. I probably play on average two three hours a day. And then on the road, I'm, I'm doing that anyway. But no, uh, no, I play every day. I, I wake up this morning, I woke up with my granddaughter <laughs> at, at, at 6.45. How lovely. She went to play school. Mm -hmm. So at 7 o'clock, I, I, was, I was out in a room playing guitar. There you go. Beautiful. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't matter. You know, I'll pick up any time. If, if I've got a minute, if I wasn't talking to you, with all due respect, I, I'd be playing. And and funnily, and I've been playing my flute. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I like to play flute every day. Yes, I can. I can relate. I've got my bass. I've got my bass right here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That the, the it, it's my it's like a third arm. Yeah, it is. It's important. I, I, I don't have to play it. Um, I, I I'm not I'm not particularly learning or rehearsing or practicing or trying to improve i just want to play i just, right. I just love playing it and, and an hour will go by and i'm like oh well, i'm going to have another cup of coffee but it's, it's a pleasure and um it, it essentially life is not enough time to do everything but uh but certainly i dedicate a good a good part of it to actually playing an instrument i'm so glad that you share that with the world you're playing is there new music coming out from you anytime yeah there will be yeah I've, I've, i write all the time and um and i've got sort of a stockpile of ideas um but but i'm, I'm caught ever since covid i'm now caught in this touring web where, where we had to catch up with all the postponements i see i see um, and and i'm I've done everything except we've got one Spanish <laughs> tour, which is a leftover. Mm -hmm. I'll be glad when I've done it because I'm so fed up with it. I'm so fed up of hearing the word COVID. It really pisses me off. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've had it three times. I've had six injections. Jeez. I'm, I'm bored with it. I'm, <laughs> I don't even want to hear the word since I've got COVID. I said, oh, okay, well, go away. So you're doing okay then right now? You're doing good now? Well, I am I like to think I'm healthy. I, I run. Uh, I've started playing tennis again. Um, but, but I play, you know, uh, uh, I, I play with a coach because I, I, I want to be dripping wet mm -hmm. and a piece of jelly at the end of it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I don't know why. I, I, I just, I love being outdoors. I love walking. I love my running. I've been running for... I think nearly 40 years now. Wow. So I'm quite lucky that my body's kept up with me, but um, yeah, it's part of, 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 of what I am. And I'm, it's no big deal. You know, there's people yeah. in their 80s doing marathons. Um, so it's, it's, but there again, I take a pride in what, what I've been given a body and a brain, and, and, I, and I respect it. You take you obviously take care of yourself. Yeah, I try to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So one one more one more back page here. Mm. Um, this album mm. is 
I think it's 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 flawed, but at the same time, it points the direction for so many things that happen afterwards. Did you help write this music? Yeah, it was a four piece band. Oh, it was a band, not Ian. It was the band. Oh, wrote. You, know, it, it, you, you can if if you were interviewing Ian, he would he would have a different take on it. Gotcha. But in, in those in in the seventies bands sat in a room, wrote music, arranged music and recorded it. You know, it wasn't one guy meeting you at the recording studio and say, right, this is your part, mm -hmm. this is the song, this is the middle section, uh, uh, this is what I want from the drums, bass player, follow me. It, it's, it, it was, everybody pitched in. So, so Ian wrote the lyrics, mm -hmm. Ian wrote the chords, mm -hmm. but he, he, he would come in with like, a real basic skeletal part, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not a song, but, yes. but a skeleton of a song. And and that's what we built on. I mean, everybody wrote their own parts. And that means nothing. I mean, I always say it's part of your job. So people say, oh, do you get paid for it? And I think, well, yeah, I was a musician. Uh, that, that, that's what you do. And, and the concept to me of being a musician and being told what to play is alien. And, and I won't do it. So if somebody no. says, I get sessions and, and the criteria is I have complete freedom in what, what to do. If you don't mm -hmm. like it, don't pay me and <laughs> get somebody mm -hmm. else. No doubt. I'm not going to play. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to do it. Gotcha. So I, that doesn't surprise me that I figured that you were involved in the writing, not just one person. It's Wonderful stuff because that leads to what, another question. Songs from the Wood. One of my favorite intros of a song is Pibrock, Cap in Hand, that guitar thing. You came up with that, didn't you? Um, uh, no, no. That phone's driving me up the wall. Can we pause? Yeah. Is that yeah. I, well, I don't know how to pause, but go ahead and take. We're almost no, done, actually. I'm almost done. Oh, no, no, no. Just give me one second. You bet. You bet. You bet. I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't it. Oh, <laughs> you've gone. Hello, <laughs> Derek. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even my phone. I hate that about getting old, you know, you have to make those runs to the restroom. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, it wasn't even my phone. But um <laughs> yeah, I I have I'm yeah, neurotic. But um no, P Brock is is um a bagpipe. Um what would be the word? Um, uh, just, just a way of playing. Okay. It's a very basic. There's lots of pibrocks and 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 bagpipe play, Scottish bagpipe players, but that's what they use. It, it, it's it's a tool. Mm. Uh, I'm out of my depth. Cause I don't know much about it. Mm -hmm. So so it, it, it's it's very few notes, mm -hmm. and that's what it's based on. So me and Ian listened to some bagpipe playing. And then I came up with that part from from what what I heard. I'm glad so, I asked because I think it's very really quite distinct. You know, it's wonderful. Yeah, you know, it's not what a guitar player would normally play. Right, right. The other thing I'd like to share before I run out of time here is, I, I want to honestly tell you that one of the big reasons I still listen to Jethro Tull is not the words or the vocals; it's the the music. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I love how Jethro Tull started out based on the blues, and then it seems like you all embraced 
your own um, history in a way, the me kind of medieval sound in a way that I think it's very unique. And in many ways, you guys helped to change and move rock music forward. That's just my opinion. But I wanted to share well, that the, with you. Well, the, the nice thing about the band is that we, we all had a personality and uh, that we brought to the table. Yes. So it wasn't just Ian. If Ian yes. did it, the music would be different, I'm sure. Right. I remember fact, watching you actually during Passion play quite a bit. You had this way of strutting with the one <laughs> leg. <laughs> I yeah. loved it. Okay. I almost thought in a way that it's like, it was almost like there was two front men for, in a way. Yeah, well, it's, it's the, the saddest thing in the world is, is that's the way it should be now. Mm -hmm. Sort of, you know, combination of people. Um, I'm trying to, you know, Ara, Ara Smith. Uh, Joe Steve Tyler, yeah, him and Joe Perry. That that that's a great duo. Yes, King Richards and Mick Jagger, Jimmy Page, uh, and um, Robert Plant. Yes, but they're 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 just great front men. Yes, and, and they play off each other and work off each other, and that's how me and Ian were. Yes, and that's what the Hull was. Uh, that 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 was it. That and you know, God I bless. Agree. That the other guys in the band, you know, that, that they were great. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, if, if I'm going to, I'm going to agree with what you say. It was me and Ian. Yes, absolutely, mostly, absolutely. And other the other guys came and went, but yeah. but, but the, essentially the fundamental um, chemistry of Jethro Tull was me and Ian. Absolutely, absolutely. I agree. And are you in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? No. Now that's some bullshit right there. Yeah, it, it's it is what it is. You don't particularly care. Oh, I care. I care a lot. Yeah, because I've been there and I, I like the people. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought it'd be a bit embarrassing, but they're just fa what a fantastic place. I thought I would hate it because mm -hmm. it's me. It's this thing, and everybody says you should be in there. Why aren't you in there? Why they haven't inducted you this year? What's going wrong? Why don't they like it? And I'm like, <laughs> leave me alone. You know, the, if they want to do it, they'll do it. If they don't, they'll do it. Yeah, do it. yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I would be very proud to be in there just because yeah. of the people that are in there. It, it's it's like, you know, it, it's it's a it's it's a section of of, of the industry. Mm -hmm. It's a huge accolade, and, and yeah. it just it preserves all that work you've done. Yeah. Over, 50, 60 years, and it says, there you go. I've yeah. We've, yeah. We've made that official. We've, yeah. we've stamped it. Well, shit, you know, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I better, I got to wrap this up now. Martin, thank you so much for taking a bit of time to share with me and your, your fans. I'm representing, I'm, I feel like I'm representing a lot of people in trying to let you know how much we appreciate your artistry, your guitar work. And what you brought to the table through all the years of your playing. Thank you so much. Well, I, I, you're welcome. And uh, it hasn't finished. You know, I, you. I, intend, I intend to write music, arrange music, do tours. Um, it, it's I'm, I'm in the middle of my career. There you oh. go. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And I hope to see you again on the on the road. Possibly you should do. It's changed a lot. I've got a great band. Yes, I've watched some videos on YouTube and you sound great. Band yeah, sounds some, great. Some great guys in the band. Awesome. But Thank you have... so much. Thank you so very, very much, well. Martin. Okay, okay, and one day I'll, I'll come and pick out some of your records to listen to. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> you, you I'm very care. envious. Well, thank you. This is my life. <laughs> you yeah. take care now, friend, okay? Yeah. All right, thanks, Eric. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.